Oxidation numbers, video problem 92. This is also called oxidation states. So I'm going to quickly go over the rules here uh, as I do these. So here's oxygen. Oxygen, that's in its element form. An element always has an oxidation state of zero. All right. Here is NH3. Let me make this a little bigger for you. Okay. Now, uh, hydrogen is plus one when it's with a non-metal and it's minus one when it's with a metal. Well, nitrogen is a non-metal, so that means hydrogen is plus one. I've got three of those, that means this is plus three. Now, this NH3 is neutral, so in other words, the oxidation state of hydrogen and nitrogen have to add up to be zero, so that means this nitrogen has to be negative three, because negative three plus three is zero, so that means the oxidation state of nitrogen is three. So the oxidation state of nitrogen is negative three, the oxidation state of hydrogen is positive one. Calcium nitrate, anytime you have an ionic compound, you want to break this up into its ions. So first we have calcium, all right? And the rule is the oxidation state of a monatomic ion is the same as its charge. So that's oxidation state is positive two. And then we have nitrate. So here's nitrate, it's NO3, has a negative one charge. What that means is the nitrogen plus the oxygen has to add up to be negative one. Oxygen is almost always negative two, except when it's with fluorine. There are some other exceptions, but we're not worried about those right now. So that means that I have three of those negative twos, so it's negative six, which means that nitrogen has to be positive five. So nitrogen is positive five. So I can say the oxidation state of nitrogen is positive five, oxygen is negative two. Permanganate, make this a little bigger. It has to add up to be negative one. Oxygen is negative two. Manganese has to be positive seven. Manganese dioxide. Oxygen is negative two. This has to add up to be zero because it's a neutral compound. There's positive four.